Audius wasn't a project that excited me at first. It just really wasn't, guys. But I was asked to look into it by a good friend called Johnny. And now I see the potential in this thing after delving deeper. And I doubt many investors have actually seen it. So in this video, I'm actually going to share my view on what I think is great about this and why you probably going to want to pay attention. But here's the thing. I think this is going to be a really good fit for a lot of investors, but equally there are some where I don't think it will. And in the end, I'm going to conclude as to whether I would or would not invest in this, depending on what your portfolio currently looks like. Okay, so straight off the bat, you can see it's on 73,000 watch list. Always a great indicator. Not cast iron, of course, but if it's on watch list by investors, I always like that. Okay. So that's a good start for 10. Next, Twitter. It's got 140,000 followers. Great community going on. Now, this caught my attention. We're excited to introduce a new way for artists to earn money on Audius. Set your price, sell your music, and get paid instantly. Be one of the first to join the waitlist. Now, I'm not going to be delving into you know the white paper it's not going to be a white paper yawn fest this video I, I hate going through them but sometimes it's necessary but today's not about that but allow if you do know about it allow me to indulge those a little who don't ultimately unlike Spotify okay which is centralized platform this is a decentralized platform that rewards artists and there's a big issue in the market because artists are only getting circa 15% off the top of my head of the money you know it's a big problem whereas NFL pl players and stuff are getting close to like 45 percent so they're providing the solution ultimately to make it fair for artists and this has been around a little while but this was only on November the 1st so there's an opportunity here where this can now start kicking on okay so just bear that in mind and we talk about opportunity check this out the global music market is poised for a substantial upswing with projections indicating significant growth from 28.2 billion in 2023 to a commanding 42.62 billion by 2028. Okay, you think, well, okay, Paul, fair enough. Um, yeah, okay, I can see the potential in the market. What about Audius? Is, you know, is it any good? Well, check this out. Competitor rank, I've never seen this before. Never seen a first. It's the first out of 154 competitors. Okay, okay, score still 62 out of 100, which is still high. I mean, I think they've got a really high kind of scoring grade, but just for those that haven't been on this channel before, this is what they mark it on. It's a propriety score based on companies standing against other companies and it's composed of four metrics, size score, execution score, growth score, and team score, okay? So, hold on, they are ranked number one, it's a great uh, solution to a big problem, and now they're actually rewarding artists, you know, to be able to set their own prices and stuff. So yeah, suddenly my ears are pricking up and I get a bit more excited about this. Doesn't stop there though, check this out. Circulating supply, total supply, all right? Look at it. I mean, I don't know how the max supply can be less than the total supply, I don't know. But anyway, what's huge here is you're not getting dumped on. Yeah, because they're already out. You've got no dumping worries at all. So in terms of price scarcity, this is only gonna help the price rise. Now it's customary now on this on this channel. I put the uh, contract address into the DeFi scanner and it's come back with 100 out of 100. So the score provides an indication of how safe the contract is based on our analysis. We take into account both the amount and the severity of detected issues, etc, etc. And you can see here, 90 out of 100, no risk detected. So it's got some attention required, but as is customary and typical I've always seen attention required I'm really surprised about the dump risks I don't know how they can say there's a dump risk when there's that many in circulating supply mintable just about every single one has one of them pausable okay but could be an issue but it's not a red cross 
it's only an information, it's still give it 100, so that doesn't worry me. And proxy upgradability can be a good thing if you trust the owner because it means that you, you the owners can actually improve the contract. Voice for concern in this area is if they're a dodgy owner, then that's when it becomes a problem. Naturally, this is only my opinion, take it for what it is, do your own research, but equally, I thought it'd be helpful to actually show you this. All right? In fact, guys, I went one step further. I look at the account holders, and yes, okay, there's two account holders that are owning over 50%, so this might have something to do with the fact of why the scanner has come up with dump risk, but equally, using common sense, if they're all out, which it looks like they are pretty much, then it doesn't really appear to be one. Then we've also got the Discord. Look at this, 36,000 members and 3,280 on line as it is. Now let's look at funding. 5 million, 1.25 million, Binance Labs, 3.1 million. So they're well, well funded, all right? Plus, look, Kate per Katy Perry, for God's sake, is one of the investors. And you may recognize a few more of these names, but it's, I mean, everybody knows Katy Perry is. And is she going to get into a project, you know, for her reputation and stuff if she thinks it's, it's shit? Want for a better expression? No. So, for me, it's solving a great problem. It's got worldwide known investors, a shitload of funding, and it's actually solving a great problem by rewarding artists. We've just seen that only in November, very recently, really, in the grand scheme of things, that they are now rewarding uh, artists and they can set their own prices. And we've also seen that the market is in for a real upswing. And also look at the potential on the price. Let's just look at this. Okay. We look at all. We're down here, for fuck's sake. Alright? Go all the way up here. Now I did look, now sometimes you get with bull markets, it might not perform as well. And I, I worked it out that even if it deducted by the same amount again, you're probably looking at a 13x which doesn't sound obviously great, but I think that's probably worst case scenario for me, and that's, you know, 13x gross. However, I think it's got so much more potential, and when you start to add into the fact of the things I've just been running through, you know, how this is evolving, and there's gonna be a market upswing, I think it's far more likely it'll go the other way. So for me, this is has got 25 to 35x potential, Yes, this isn't tiny market cap, but equally it's not large either. And music, is, as you've seen, is a fucking large market. So, at the start I said of this video, is this going to be for everybody? And the reason I said it isn't is because I think if you've not got enough good gaming coins or AI coins in your portfolio, then I would probably pass on it. However, they are, by and large, not all, riskier plays aren't they so this is a good fit for the investor like my friend Johnny yeah where he's probably got too many save coins that are going to net him next to diddly swap yeah this is why I think this is a good fit if you fall into that bracket and you just look at it and you, your portfolio is full of your quant your XRPs and I don't know Cardano's whatever coins of that ilk and yeah, I don't know, it depends when you got in, don't shoot the messenger, etc. But you know what I'm saying? For many investors, broadly speaking, which is why I got rid of mine, the, the net X is gonna be poor. Just is. So, yeah, I think it depends where you're at with your portfolio. But for me, this looks a reasonably safe, safe investment that should, no one knows of course, yields you a greater X than sticking with some of the more traditionally named ones. But again, not financial advice, and it's down to your risk tolerance. So I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And uh, if you did, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I am trying to get to 100. You've given me an outside chance. It's teasing me. Four days to go, 25 more needed. So thanks very much for all your support.
Cheers. Bye.